Hey folks, Randy Hunter here from BeginningSax.com and RandyHunterJazz.VHX.TV. Now I wanted to take just a minute and tell you about a new lesson series I have called One Exercise, All Chords. I think you'll really dig this set of lessons. Now this is a four-part set of lessons that takes you through a basic exercise all the way into a number of variations on that exercise and also into improvising at different levels on tunes and even through 2-5-1 progressions. Now, the lesson series is designed for intermediate to advanced players. I mean, I know that um, as I was working these lessons out with my students, I really found new approaches and uh, a number of new things that I started to incorporate in my personal practice in playing. So um, uh, I think you'll really dig this approach. Now, again, it's based on the basic arpeggios. We start with the basic arpeggios. We learn how immediately how to get our practice out of root position on the different chords, the different types of chords, the main types of chords that we use in jazz improvisation. You know, we go through major, dominant, minor, minor seven flat five, and uh, even dominant chords with altered fives in them, you know, like sharp five chords. So it really deals with the basic one, three, five, seven arpeggios. We're not getting too much into the nines immediately, although as our approach develops and we start learning how to use this on tunes, the exercise, I'll show you some variations that work all the way up towards including flat nines. So flat nines you'll learn how to include in a much easier manner, I think, than you may have thought about them in the past, depending on where your skills are, of course. So anyway, I'm going to show you some clips from these lessons, but first let me mention that you can purchase these lessons at beginningsax.com. It's a four lesson set. You can either purchase them individually or you can purchase the complete collection at a steep discount. So um, I hope you'll consider that. And also at randyhunterjazz.vhx.tv, you can subscribe to my lesson series. And um, this, this set of lessons is included along with all of my other lessons from beginning sax all the way through the advanced jazz improvisation lessons for a monthly rate. So pay me a visit at those sites and uh, check out these clips from the lesson. Oh, and by the way, you heard me playing along with one of the play along tracks that's included in this series from the tune All the Things You Are. Now we don't learn all the things you are but we use the chord progression from that one and we've got a couple of other play along tracks that you can check out but again dig, um, dig these clips and you'll learn more about the series. Okay. Exercise, but this exercise uses the basic one, three, five, seven, eight arpeggio on different chords. So, what we're going to do um, is we're going to take this exercise around the circle of fourths on major seven chords, minor seven chords, dominant seven chords, half diminished chords, diminished chords, and augmented chords. Now. We're not going to sit here and go through all of these different keys in this video together. I mean, all the different keys on all these different kinds of chords together. That's going to be your work for the practice room, but I want to get you started on it. Now, let's take major chords to start with. And I've got a starting on C, and now here's the thing. It doesn't matter if you're playing tenor sax, alto sax, concert pitch instruments. We're not using a play. So I'm thinking let's play three, five, eight, seven. Now remember eight and one are the same thing. I went ahead in your example here and wrote it as eight just um, to make it make a little more sense because I want us to go from five up to eight. So we'll play uh, three, five, eight, seven on C. Now we're moving on to F. The three is right next door to the seven, so the seven on the on the B on the on the C major chord was B natural. The third on the F chord is A. It's right next door to that B. So from the beginning again, C chord. Now we're up to B flat, the B flat chord, so we're right next door to it right now. We're on the E on the F chord. I'm going to slide down to the D. 
FED. And here, I'm going to the five on the F chord, but here's the thing with the fifths. When we go to the five, we can go either to the five that's higher or the five that's lower. In this case, I want to drop down to the five, to the lower five, because I want to keep this exercise kind of in the middle of the instrument. I mean, if we keep progressing, we'll end up in the altissimo at some point. So, you know, we've got to uh, do something to keep this in the middle of the instrument. So rather than going up to the five, we'll octave displace, or we'll drop to the lower octave and go down to the five. So, D, F, B flat, A. But right now, what, um, what I did is I did two passes, like I mentioned. I did two passes through the progression with the play along track, which I'll include with your downloads. And um, the first pass through, I strictly did 3, 5, 1, 7 on all of the chords. Now, I worked with the rhythm so that I'm not just doing the exact same rhythm through, throughout, you know, I don't like doing quarter notes constantly or eighth notes or anything, so I like to have a little bit of rhythmic variation to um, enhance the musicality of things. So um, hopefully it was a musical sounding passage for you, even the exercise, hopefully. Now, the second time through, I improvised a, somewhat. I mean, it was not a straight through fluid improvisation, but it was a maybe a targeted or a focused improvisation that included a lot of this three five one seven stuff you know so that's the way I like to practice I love to have a concept that I'm practicing specifically maybe specifically over a set of chord changes and then I like to go back and improvise using that concept and I know I've told you these I think it's important that we learn to navigate and play chord changes in a manner that doesn't really sound like we're playing an exercise. Now I know we've been doing an exercise in this series of lessons, but you know right then you heard me just playing over a 2-5-1 progression and um, the progression I was playing with and um, the play along track are going to be included with this lesson. We're going to work on this in all 12 keys. So um, what what we want to really develop the ability to do is play and have fun and play with confidence, being able to think ahead and play through the changes with accuracy while creating great music, you know. So it's really a lot more than just playing an exercise. Time. So our, our, our first variation is going to be... On the next key, D minor, G7, C major. So really the key of C major. Pretty neat variation, and that adds a whole new dimension to what's going on. Now concept or idea. I guess really the thing is you're looking to conceptualize patterns. So you're looking to take these patterns, these ideas that you practice, like this uh, this pattern that we've evolved with over the past several lessons or uh, parts of this lesson series. You know, you learn to adapt them to the chord progressions on tunes that you're working on so that they become a part of your vocabulary. So take that to the shed and work with that a little bit and right now to finish things out with why don't we put on the track and um, let's see if we can get these sounds all of these sounds mixed and mingled in over um, some I play you play practice okay same format we used earlier <laughs> 